money, I'm revving. I'm rich, just protecting my investment. Escobar, me integrity's not a question. Me too, fighting series fans. This amateur heavyweight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the B2 digital blue corner. Tonight, in the B2 fighting series cage, making his amateur debut. His height, six feet, one inch. His weight, 209 pounds. He trains with Gracie Foothills Jiu-Jitsu and comes to you from Sevier County, Tennessee. This is Stone. And his opponent, out of the one more gym red corner, also tonight, making his amateur debut. His height, five feet, 10 inches. His weight, 208 pounds. He trains with Killer Bees Mixed Martial Arts and comes to you from right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is Chris. All right, Stone Campbell in the black and gray. Chris Henderson in the black and yellow. Third man in the cage, referee Bobby Wambacher. Touch of the gloves, both guys come in now. Orthodox, big leg kick for Henderson. Good head movement right away for Henderson. I don't know, Stone Stone looks re really timid, man. He does, like, he, he looks Chris like the, the big moment might have been getting to him in these introductions. I, I think the light got to him a little bit. He yeah. looked really timid. Chris is like, man, I'm bringing it to you. He's got a takedown. You got a collegiate wrestler and side control on you. You're in trouble. Chris Henderson, as Andy mentioned, in top side control with Stone Campbell's back against the cage. Really bad spot here for Stone Campbell. Starting to use his feet to wall walk, perhaps. Chris Henderson with knees to the body here from top side control. Yeah, he needs to wall walk, or he needs to, you know, he needs to shrimp back in. At least try to retain half guard and hopefully get the guard. Looks like but, Stone Campbell kind of just holding on for dear life right now. And you know, Andy, I mean. Dude, I mean People that are, are watching this sport now maybe don't understand. This did not used to be the case. I mean, you come in here to fight for the B2 Fighting Series. These are two amateurs making their debuts. Back in the day, you'd be rolling around in an old dirty armory or an airplane hangar or something. I mean, this is – I mean, we're not the biggest show on earth, but this is a big show for these guys to be making their amateur debut on. Yeah, with the lights and the cameras all in your yes. face and you got the commentary, you got us. Yes. And it, it, you know what? Everybody tells us all the time. It feels like right. the big show. Yes. The UFC. We got a guy coming up later on tonight, Skylar King. Mm -hmm. He fought for our 170 belt back this summer. Uh, I think it was yeah, July 19th in Trustville. Oh, Chris Anderson's pounding him out. It's oh, over. Bobby Wallenbecker's going to stop the fight. What a dominant performance by Chris Anderson. Not a lot happening there. And then Chris Anderson just says, yeah, I'm going to ground and pound you out right now. So what I'm talking about real quick, hopefully uh, – Stone's okay. I think he's going to be okay. Just gave the thumbs up. Chris Henderson's going to make sure he's okay. But what I was saying is, is that Skylar King said when he fought for that title, he said, Andy, as soon as I walked out, I felt like I was in the big show. And it got to me. Yes, it, and it can. And So I can it, imagine. It kind of looked like that was the case for Stone Campbell tonight, to well, be honest. Yeah, it did. Right, right off the gate. Yes. Too. Right off the gate. It, it, just standing over there in the B2 Digital Blue Corner during introductions, we could, he looked – as you said, kind of timid, and Chris Henderson is just a wrecking ball. He's running through a wall tonight, and that just, that wall just happened to be Stone Campbell, unfortunately. That kid's going to be good, man. Yes, yes. He's going to be a great MMA fighter. He's with a great gym. Billy yes. Swanson is his coach. And, uh, yeah, man, so he's got a lot of training partners. I can't wait to see this kid back. Stone, you know, man, hold your head up. Agreed. You got in there. You wanted to see what it was like. You found out. Well, And that's more and than – most people will ever be able to say is Stone Campbell, you, you came in here, you laid it on the line, and you risked it. And that's something to hold your head high about, no matter if it went your way or not. Right. Here you see Chris Henderson. He's chilling. He's all smiles right now. Nothing like getting that first victory, and you got that camera in your face. He doesn't want to look at it. He doesn't want to smile. He doesn't want to gloat too much. But, man, you know he's feeling good. I tell you, and I'm going to tell the audience at home this, I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm going to because it kind of impresses me a little bit. He's got a nasty cut on his, yes, on his, yes. On his thumb or his, his pinky. Yes, that he's very got stitches nasty. in. It's nasty, and he showed it to us yesterday at weigh-ins. I was worried they wouldn't let him fight, to be honest. That, th yes, and I'm thinking, 
Oh, gosh, somebody's going to grab that? But yeah. obviously that did not take effect tonight. That's a young man that's not getting grabbed. I'll tell you that <laughs> right now. Here's Cajun. That's their land screen for the official decision. B2 Fighting Series fans, your referee, Bobby Wambacher, has brought a stop to this fight. One minute and 33 seconds into round number one. Your winner, by way of TKO due to strikes, out of the one more Jim Red Corner, Chris Henderson! So Chris Henderson moves to 1-0. and oh. Stone Campbell, unfortunately, dropping his amateur debut. Great performance by both of these guys. With the same ones that was down from the jump day one Same ones been around when the ain't funds Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one